Hello and welcome. Thank you for popping into my channel. If you are new here, please like and subscribe for me. If you find this content helpful, smash that notification bell so that you don't miss out on the next video. Comment below with anything that you need help with or topics you'd like me to cover. And check out my website, consultingninja.tech. With that out of the way, let's build a single page application. Let's make a directory for it. So make directory. I'll just call this SPA and then let's CD into there and then NPM create svelte at latest and we're going to make it right in here skeleton project and to keep things simple for you guys I'm just going to leave all the extras off of here and then we need to install everything I might need to use NBM here to switch node versions. Nope, already using 18. Okay, make our git init and let's add everything. And then make our initial commit. Init commit. There. All right, now let's open this up. And let's fire up that npm run dev dash 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 open. Get it running in our browser. And then let's pull that up in our IDE. So inside of our directory, we have all of the basic uh, Svelte kit stuff. Now, I feel like I may have dropped the ball at some point because I have a few people asking how to make a single page application with Svelte kit. And I will point out here in the documents, that's basically the default. So the default you know, when you're creating a SvelteKit application is when you go to navigate, SvelteKit intercepts the attempted navigation and handles it instead of letting the browser actually send the request out. Uh, you can have everything pre-rendered. So that can you can do that. I am doing that with my website. So in order to create a single page application, you really just need to come in here and start creating more pages. So inside of routes, let's create, well, let's first create a library directory. So new folder, let's call this lib. And then inside here, let's create a new file and let's call this uh, navbar.svelte. And let's just make a few links. Call this uh, page one slash page one and give it a title. We probably should put this in a div and that way we can style it a little bit. Let's give it a class. Actually, Let's leave that div, but let's put this in a nav. And then we'll style the nav rather than the div. So down here, let's make a style. And we'll copy this, copy. And these will be three pages, page two, page two, page three and page three like that and then we'll style nav and we'll say display flex flex direction row justify content let's do base around like that give that a save and inside of routes this is our home page so let's say consult welcome to consulting ninja spa home and we can get rid of that boilerplate there. 
And then one thing we want to do is inside of routes, let's create a base layout. Let's do plus layout dot svelte. All right, so inside of plus layout dot svelte, let's create a script. And the first thing we want to do is import navbar from lib navbar dot svelte. And then we're just going to create a slot like this and put nav navbar like that. And if we go look, we have our navbar attached. So pretty cool. And we also can style every single page easily with our layout by wrapping the slot in a div and giving this a class. So style, uh, let's just do, let's call this a app dash container. And in, on our div, let's make class of the same, app-container. And all we're going to do here is say display flex flex direction column and uh, align items center and justify content center. We want everything centered. Make this look a little bit better. And let's also make everything my favorite color. Uh, in order to do that, let's inside of app.html in the head section, make a style tag there and we'll style the body right here. Let's just do background color of 24244 and a regular color of FFF. That looks a bit better. So now we have our home page ready to rock and roll. We have a nav bar up top with three pages. Let's go hash those pages out. Hash them out, fill them out, fill them in, flesh them out, however you want to, however you want to say it. Uh, let's do one other thing in the nav bar. Let's make our, uh, let's style our links really quickly and let's just call them white so color like that and then let's make a hover effect for them and let's do text decoration underline like that and a cursor of pointer Uh, we want to take the text decoration off of the regular class. There. Now on hover, we get the mouse and the line underneath. Sweet. All right. So then inside of routes, now we just start creating our pages. So create a new folder and call this. No, that's not going to work. We need one more link. <laughs> We need one more link here and it will be the home. So let's say home and that will be to slash. So inside of routes, let's get back here and we want a new folder and this will be page one. And then inside of here, we just create another plus page dot svelte. Just like that and we can copy this h1 put that in there and we'll call this page one and now let's do the same thing for page two and page three and actually we can just copy this plus page so copy paste and then inside of there, all we need to do is change this. 
and then one more for page three. Page three, new file, plus page dot svelte. Uh, I guess I didn't need to type that out. I could have just copied again, but oh well. And paste this in there and make this page three. So bang, we have up an app up and running. We have four pages. We have page one, page two, and page three. So as I was saying, uh, the default for SvelteKit is a single page application. SvelteKit is handling all of the rendering. And when I say handling it, what I mean is uh, SvelteKit is code splitting behind the scenes, whether pre-rendered or not, whether server side rendered or not, SvelteKit takes those pages, bundles them up, builds them out into JavaScript bundles and HTML bundles. And then when you navigate to that page, SvelteKit is in charge. And when I click page one, uh, the browser sends the request, but SvelteKit intercepts it, says, hey, where are they trying to go to? And when the, uh, it looks at that request, it pulls out what the URL is and says, hey, hey no, you don't really wanna go uh, out to the web for that. We've got that address right here. Um, and then it pulls that request back in and renders out the other bundle, right? The other path, the other JavaScript chunk and HTML chunk that creates the other page. So pretty, pretty basic stuff. Pretty cool how SvelteKit does that. Um, and, and that's what part of what makes it super fast. So this is SvelteKit's default mode of operation. This is how SvelteKit operates out of the box. There are additional things that you can do. I'll link to the documentation um, how to, you know, they ha have se separate sections in the documentation for SPAs, for static site generators, for SSR. But again, the default is for SvelteKit to be handling the navigation and your website to be bundled up, those requests intercepted, and then routed to the chunk of code, both JavaScript and HTML, that makes up uh, your page. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. And as always, have a great day.